Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. Bright and early here. Uh, left the dock about 4:30. We're heading out right now. We're doing a spear fishing tournament today. I'm uh, pretty useless when it comes to actually jumping in the water, so I'm just running the boat today for the boys. Lucas, he's back here getting ready. Lucas, why don't you tell us what we're doing today? Well, the key to a good spear fishing day is organization. We're ready to go. We have a tuna gun in each corner here. High pressure floats. So we'll be ready for the big boys if they pop up. Caddy guns are up front. No rush on getting those out, but we got the tuna guns in the corners. Uh, we're doing the 27th annual San Diego free, free diver blue water meet today. Uh, they usually get about 80 competitors. I'm guessing a triple digit tuna is probably gonna be what's on the podium today based on the fish that are out there. Divers in the water at 5 a.m. or sunrise, 6 a.m. here, and we got to be at the, the weigh-in back here by 5 p.m. sharp, uh, which I know is going to be tough for Nick. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you know me, I like to give it, give it my all. Try to find some big bluefin. That's going to be the primary focus. If we run into some patties, try to shoot a nice, maybe a bigger yellowtail or dorado, and hopefully we have something. To, we got to have something to weigh, so yeah. shoot whatever we can, but we'll primary focus will be tuna try to get a big a big bluefin so they've been out here we had a really good day of fishing two days ago we got three real big 100 to 150 pound tuna so if we two can days find ago, those they can't have gone far no they're around we know they're close so the boys are clearly ready i've never seen this much spear fishing gear in my life um sweet buoys we got 48 guns i think um I don't even know what else all this stuff is, but we're, we're ready. I'm excited for this. I've never really done this before, not like hardcore like this. So hopefully we get some good footage and I'm going to be running the camera. So, geez, wow, this is some serious gear here. Stay tuned. This will be something a little different for you guys. It's got the first patty of the day. It's a pretty nice one. We got Dorado jumping off of it. So we're going to send in Wiley and Richie and let's see what's under it. There's a, either a shark or something just popped up right there. Sweet. There's a bola on it. It could have been, I just saw a fin come up. I don't know what it was. It was right here. The water is starting to breeze right there. Uh, so I want to feed me out. That was a big, it's a little hazy, but still nice and blue. Thanks. Let's get him, boys. Dude, there's huge Dorado, huge yellowtail. Huge yellow. Oh my gosh. I don't know he said, oh my god. That must be big. I really think they're big. <laughs> Freaking out. Richie! Double. Double on yellow. Looks 
looks like we got three fish. We've got the big yellows to get us on the board. <laughs> Two fish, one shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, good. Duck. They're like 20 pounds yellows, too. Dude, this oh, guy yeah. stoned them belly up. <laughs> Look at Big Dorado, too, on it. Yeah, there's nice ones. Like, quality size. Would you? Oh. Shot placement doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Two for one special. I was trying to be patient, waiting for a big bowl, but then big school of uh, yellowtail, probably 50 of them. I didn't know I got two until uh, like a minute into it. <laughs> I think I hit this it's one. It's crazy. I feel like I'm I in Monterey Bay right Aquarium here. down there. <laughs> it's crazy. There's like bola, a huge school yeah. of moonfish, Dorado everywhere. Dorado. Like massive Dorado when the, when the... and good size yellows. I felt like I was in like convoy fish market, just like, hmm. <laughs> exactly what you want, that spine shot. He was, when you shoot them like that, they just go belly off and just. <laughs> you guys see that? What was that? Jump, come over. Yeah, buddy. Oh, nice one. That's a good one. Nice one. Six shot too, man. Thanks. That mole is going crazy. Bull, I, I think I got that on video I right think, in front of me. I think I got it too. I was looking at that was I had it pointed at you guys. From a school of about 40 on the patty. Nice one, dude. Ready for the big stuff. I'm guessing we're not gonna get too much more off this patty, if anything. They just, kill, they just want to just kill four of them. Is that pretty typical where you shoot a couple and they get a little skittish? Yeah, they start to get the message. They see the other fish flailing around in distress and they, they understand what that means. California gold rush. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden got a big one apparently. I was trying to figure out a big one, but this is... What an epic patty to start the day with. Those bowls are nice! It's got a nice, got a nice cross back. Watch that knife. Oh, you got two Dorado. You got a yellow. You got two Dorado. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. It's about seven o'clock. Yeah, 40 yellowtail. Doug uh, doubled up one shot. The old uh, custom Lucille. Uh, she's thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm extra thirsty this morning. They just love it when you yeah. when you hit something. Yeah. That's that's kind of the method. Shot that smaller one and then just kind of let them stand and they schooled around it and made him found a, a big boy. Not long after that Mondo patty. That was pretty stacked. Uh, Doug spotted this guy. Then these guys are spotting a shark, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Still shark week, I think. Nobody else. Dry. Not even bait. Uh, what's this? Our second, third patty of the day with uh, confirmed Dorado on it. So pretty good ratio so far. Water looks a little bit bluer. Been making our way a little bit south. Oh, Wiley! Wiley! What a warm up too. Oh my god! Little foaming right there, Nick. Oh my gosh, what is it? We're gonna get two divers in the water. Oh, you're gonna shoot one right here. You can see the fish he's chasing. That was cool. He got one. Yeah, there goes the there goes the buoy. Lana, 
He's on. Nice shot, it's shafted. Nice, thank you. Yeah. Nice, nice fish too. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest one I could find in the school. They weren't huge, but yeah. still a decent size. Not bad. Yeah, that's a nice one. I keep that one for way up. Looks like we've got some breezing, uh, some breezing bluefin, a little bit of kind of puddling jumping out of the water here. Look like they're about 50 pounders, maybe. Um, we got the guys getting ready. I think they're gonna try to jump in on them if they can get some boat somewhat positioned to where we can get in on them. They look to be awfully boat shy, per usual. Here they go, right here. Here we go, right here, right here, boom. Right there, there's another one. They're right here, right off the bow. They're pretty close. That's what we need. One of these and we win. Not seeing them anymore. Right here, right here, another one, right here. Right here, oh, right another on one, chance. right off the bow. Yeah, they're about 50, 50 yards. 50 yards yeah. They're all around the boat. Got some turns moving. There's uh, turns means there's tuna. Snitch of the sea. I think we should run and gun. You all run in there? It's run and gun time, boys. Look, he's he see them, he see them. He sees them. He has to be right up the boat. Holy shit, that's a lot of fish. We might get a shot here. Can you see them? Yes. Took a shot and missed. All right, they're still here. They're still here, Lucas. They were deep. Yeah, they're down there. They, they must have saw you shot, because they're down to like 80 feet 100 now. pounders. Oh. Nick told me to jump in. He saw a pretty good meat wall on the sonar. So just got in the water, didn't even kick out from the boat, dove down. Kept going, kept going, probably around 40, 45 feet. Started making out the uh, hazy silhouettes of some good sized tuna, probably 100 pounders. Kept going a little deeper to try to get on the same level as them. Leveled out, but they were a little bit too far for my, for my two band gun to get to. I took a long shot, but we're gonna try to do that again. They're behaving just the way we want. Swimming nice and slowly, circles find them again those are tournament winners <laughs> they should be under the boat in a little bit looks like we got some fish coming under the boat way. got the boys in the water on the left side of the boat actually this far side we got fish all around the boat right now god oh, damn he can stay underwater see them Wiley? i see him they were right there right They're over there by that bird right here look at him up here did you see him richie they're up there, they're up there. They're yellowfin. I think so. Saw a bluefin about 40 feet down, circling the patty. Get a shot? <sighs> Took a shot, missed. I think I was just short. They were literally blowing up all around you guys, about 100 yards. I think, I think it's gonna turn on here. 
What do you it's twelve twenty-three. I think it's. I think it's gonna turn on. Might be the best. That's one of the day. Thanks. Two and a puddling by the uh, by the patty. So. I was like, oh, I'll just take the long trek to the patio and hopefully I stumble across something and no tuna, but big school of Dorado. So I by. Doug said he saw some big yellow, so I decided to hold off on the Dorado and see if we could get something worth qualifying, but it seems like about the same grade we've been getting all day. God, just been uh, so finicky, definitely boat shy. Sure um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, a numbers game just got to jump in and view and hopefully you, you hop in on a school that uh wants to stick around and play we've seen them a handful of times underwater but nothing we could pull the trigger on yet yeah look how many i mean how many shots have been taken three four three. on tuna I took a shot at one. yeah lucas you took there's dorado jumping right here lucas you took a shot at one um <laughs> richie did you take a shot at one i did uh once doug went back in the boat i i thought i saw some movement dove down are they right here? Yeah. Oh, Is that Dorado right here? I think they're Dorado. I don't know, it's so mixed, you don't even don't know. know. I know, it's crazy. No, There's a big foamer right here. See him under the bird, I can see the white water from here. Of uh, tuna? Yeah. See, see the white water? Oh, like right here, right here, right here. So we got about uh, two hours to get home, 20 miles. We're gonna cruise back at about 20 knots and stop on anything good we see. Last two rod of the day. Ran to one more patty on the way home. And oh, looks like they've already gone. Look at this shot. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ran into a patty around 7 a.m. loaded up on big yellows and medium dorado. We thought it was going to be a great day. We chased tuna for about six, seven hours with nothing to show for it. <laughs> and uh, the weather was great all day. And we headed home, got one more yellow off a patty, and capped off a great Hold day. Hold on, them babies up, Richie. So you guys are what? So we went to the weigh-in. And land with 10 minutes to spare. Seriously, really nice quality. Spare. Ended up getting the second biggest yellowtail. I think we're officially in fifth place with that yellow. Fifth place, that's the one right there. This is about it. A 20 pounder. Just about 20 Very pounds. Nice. Oh. Um, Very nice. Very nice. The you top three were bluefin, and then the yellowtail that beat this one was 22 pounds. So beat us by two. You boys did work, though. You guys did good. Oh, couldn't have done it without our trusty captain. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I just threw up the boat. Heck of a day. Heck of a, put the hurt on. Heck of a bag of fish. That was fun. Well, that was uh, my first real spear fishing experience. I, uh, little Lucas here has showed me how it's done many times. He's shown me, shown me over the years, but uh, I never got to see the full operation. I mean, we had wetsuits on and uniforms, about 13 different spear guns I saw on this boat buoys ropes everywhere i mean it is a quite the quite the experience that was cool we had some real good luck on really really nice grade yellows the cool thing is obviously these guys can jump in and pick out the biggest one they see versus you know just whatever bites your line um i guess they're in fifth place with the, about 20 pound yellowtail we got the fish early Place. on some patties and then we focused on the bluefin we figured it'd take a, a big bluefin to win Sure enough, there's about three nice 100 pound bluefin that were weighed. We chased them around Saw, all day. Took the shots. All day. We think we had four or five shots on bluefin that were never, they weren't ever really great shots, right? Kind of long. Um, had a couple, one or two tuna. couple shots at some foamers that I dropped the guys off on. It was just never really worked out for us. The fish were super loose and scattered. A lot of fish, but no volume. They were just kind of up everywhere all day little spots of puddlers and jumpers here and there and like nearly impossible to get the boat on and when you got up there there's no volume for them to really jump in on so didn't get the bluefin still had a great day lucas we're gonna have to get you one of those uh bluefin with the gun here soon it'll happen stay tuned
for the next one. Thanks for thanks for watching.